Hey guys, Officer Olier here, back again with Izzy Coaster Velocity. And we just like walked so fast to get here. We're at Disney California Adventure for my very first time. So excited. We, uh, we got two rides to check out here tonight, I think. Wow, this park is really pretty. I know they completely changed the entrance here. Like this bridge here. It actually used to be themed to the Golden Gate Bridge, and it had two big, the two big archways and the, the big thing down the middle, you know. I can put a picture of it up here, but it looked completely different. And this is, um, I think, called Buena Vista Street, I think. Flowers droop inside, and I know the reason why. Y'all much sweeter, goodness knows. We're walking into a section of the park called Grizzly Peak. It's kind of like a, a big state park. It's pretty cool. They got these little signs. I wonder if that's Christmas themed or those lights are like that at all times. I think, I think those are just like that. That's pretty cool. I did see a lot of Christmas theming left over over in Disney Springs or uh, downtown Disney. It's called here. This ride building over here to the right is called Soarin'. It's a big um, simulator ride. Look at this big plane parked over here. How cool is that? Anyway, like, this park isn't as magical as Disneyland, but it's really cool. I love the theming. I think this is a hotel back here. This might be the Californian, I'm pretty sure. And that's one of the things I mean about how it's not as magical. Like, there's a hotel here. Like, come on, this isn't Disneyland. Disneyland doesn't have any hotels on it. No, well, not yet, at least. At least with uh, Bob Chapek, you never know. <laughs> Look at this giant wooden bear. Yeah. This is Grizzly River Run, the park's river after ride. Apparently, it's really, really good. Obviously, we don't have time to ride it, but it's really cool. These, these are, these are definitely holiday lights. <laughs> Redwood Creek Challenge Trail. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know a ton of information about a lot of these attractions here, besides the roller coasters. I've never been much of a Disney guy, so yeah, I didn't grow up with a ton of money. Like, I had some money growing up, so I could go to parks like Six Flags or maybe Dorney Park or something, but, you know, I couldn't afford to come here. So this is a really cool experience. <laughs> wow, look at all these lights. We're walking into the section of the park now called Paradise, or it used to be called Paradise Pier. Now it's called Pixar Pier. And uh, of course they had to do the IP tie-ins here, but they changed uh, California Screaming, which used to be right over there. It's still there. It's just called Incredicoaster now and it's full of incredible seeming. That group of people is just skipping. That's fun. I can understand. That's cool. I like skip skipping. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we have to ride the coaster right over here. It's called uh, Goofy's Sky School. Hopefully it's not got a crazy ass long line. And then back over this way, we have to go ride Incredit Coaster because I'm a coaster enthusiast. <laughs> and that's what we have to prioritize tonight because we haven't, we have a reservation over at Disneyland for Indiana Jones. Okay, here's the entrance to Goofy's Sky School. It's spilling out of the queue. It's got a 20 minute wait. Possibly longer. It looks longer than that. I don't know. Do you think this is 20 or 30? I think it's longer. Uh, I don't know. It's at least 20, I think. Yeah, because it's a wild mouse coaster, so these things are not notorious for their capacities. They, they don't get many people through per hour. That's kind of why I don't really understand why Disney didn't only buy one wild mouse. They bought three. <laughs> There's two other ones at uh, Disney World in Orlando. That's a lie. Goofy's brain is not that large. So this ride is themed to Goofy uh, teaching you how to fly, or you are teaching him how to fly? How does this work? I'm honestly not sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty loose theme. It's one of the loosest Disney themes I think I've ever seen. It's really, like, not... See, it the just... ride itself has, like, yeah. it has theming and stuff. It's just not, like... Yeah. Uh, it's not done up like a lot of the other attractions here. Maholan Madness. So it was themed to this road called Maholan Drive in, yeah. uh, like up in, in the hills. Mm -hmm. And it's a twisty mountain road. Oh, yeah, that um, makes sense. Yeah, so yeah. the cars were going around like a winding road. And that's, you know, that was the original theme. So I don't know what this is. And did it even have any like physical theming around it? Or yeah, was I remember that... it had like a little bit of a theme. Like road, road like signs road. and stuff? Yeah. Okay. Well, it still has road signs. So those are probably just repaints anyway. Yeah. But yeah, we're going to get on this thing and see how it is. Hopefully, it's really good. Just kidding. It's not. It's a, it's a wild mouse coaster. There's no yeah. way it can be really good. It's just kind of okay. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've never had a really high opinion on wild mice coasters. Like, they're just kind of meh. They don't have very good capacity. 
Which is strange for a Disney park to install wild mouse coasters like that. It just doesn't make any sense. But either way, it's a coaster credit, so we have to get on it. Let's go. Oh my god. This is uh, Goofy Sky School. I already saw somebody's backpack on the catwalk. That's a good sign. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, God. I actually got some decent ladders. Oh, yeah, no, it's a wild mouse coaster for sure. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Incredicoaster right now is temporarily closed for maintenance. Um, we're going to go ride Radiator Springs, though, after this because it's got a single rider line. So that's exciting. Oh, gosh. Are you enjoying your wild mouse? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I just slammed my arm for that. that no. Oh this thing must have broken down recently because there's somebody like on an announcement over there saying, please remain seated. <laughs> oh, ah! oh my god, this is clearly a wild mouse coaster. It's not a bad wild mouse, it's just no, it's a just, wild mouse. Yeah, it's literally just, just a wild mouse. Okay, ow. How was that? That was boom. <laughs> Fine, I guess. Oh, according to Goofy, it was butter. Uh, stay in your seat till you're given the old ah, oh. Those bricks, though. Oh my god. That was hard to get out of the train. <laughs> yeah, me and Izzy always have a little bit of trouble in these tight fitting trains. Like, we're, we're both like over six feet tall. Yeah. yeah, that was not very good. It was just a wild mass coaster. Don't know why Disney bought one and put it here. So it is what it is, but I needed the credit, and so we wrote it. All right, now we're gonna go check out the uh, Cars Land area. This is so exciting to me. This is one of the like, this is one of the greatest themed areas like ever created in a theme park, in my opinion. I think it's, I, I think it looks amazing, and I'm so excited. And we can see it out there in the distance right now. Let's head over now. Ah, look at that. It's a Little Mermaid ride in there. Looks like it's closed. Out there in the distance, you can see Guardians of the Galaxy, formerly known as Tower of Terror. Right over here, it's like a San Francisco themed area. It's called Pacific Wharf. It's pretty cool. There's like a lobster restaurant right there. It looks like it goes on onto a little like pier or something. <laughs> wow. That's some presentation there. I was just like walking straight and I turned and this was here. Look at that. Radiator Springs Racers looks really, really cool. I'm super excited for it. Can't wait. Wow. There's something about this light where after every certain amount of blinks, it blinks long. Yes. I think it's like, what, three flashes and then a long one or something? Yeah, it's two short flashes and then the third one's a long flash. I don't know why. Right here is the line for Luigi's uh, tire ride. No, it's Rollick and Roadsters. Looks like the entrance to Radiator Springs Racer is back here somewhere. Let's go check it out. Since we took single rider, Izzy's gotta go ride a different uh, car than me. Just a bad 
spark plug, hippie. Champion needs speed and style. Luigi, give our friend your best. We just rode Radiator Springs Racers. That's such a cool ride. I especially love the dark ride section at the beginning too. That's really good. The racing section is cool too. Really cool positive G-forces. There's even a little bit of air time where you uh, come up out of your seat. It's a very, very tiny bit. But yeah, the banking on this is so cool. And the, the ride in general, the, the ride technology is insanely good. I just, I love it. I love it so much. I know it costs a ton of money to build, but they should definitely build more of these at other parks. Woo! There's a race going on like every, 30 seconds or so. Wow, this is amazing. Okay, we kind of have to rush because we have to go back to Disneyland now. <laughs> right. We have to go ride Indiana Jones. We have a, a reservation time for now. And the park closes soon. We have about a half an hour left until 9 p.m., which is both parks. Is that a quicker way to get out? Oh, uh, uh, what? Wait, you can go that way and get to the front line. I don't want to take any risks. Wanna, yeah. Let's just go toward where we know where we can get back. <laughs> we came through this way and then we went down yeah. by Paradise Pier or whatever. Yeah. And then walked down Buena Vista Street from over there. I feel like that was like... Longer? I, I can look up in the map real quick. It's right over here. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah. About all I could say about it. Yeah, unfortunately, I won't be able to get the Incredit Coaster credit because it looks like it's actually closed. And we're out of time. <laughs> but that's right. We're prioritizing Indiana Jones because we have the uh, Genie Plus for it. And also, it's an amazing ride, apparently. This is one of your favorite dark rides, right, Indiana oh, yeah. Jones? Yeah, it's one of my favorites of all time. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's saying a lot because, you know, you've been on a lot of rides. <laughs> so we're going to run back over to Disneyland and ride that. Yeah, uh, Hollywood Back Light area. Wow. That was how you got to um, Tower of Terror. That's what, uh, this was what I was talking about when I said I think oh. you could cut across and then come out here. Oh. The entrance. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Wow, that was it for DCA. We, I definitely have to come back here. Still didn't get to ride Guardians or anything. Uh, there's a lot of rides here that are worth checking out. Still need the credit on <laughs> credit coaster. Thank you so much. And now we have to rush over here to Disneyland. Get on Indiana Jones. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog from Disney's California Adventure. And peace out. Life could be a dream, sweetheart Life could be a dream And I think I'm glad you come here 
Right here is the line for Luigi's uh, tire ride. No, it's Relic and Roadsters. It's sign right in front of me. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Uh.